So, welcome back. Um, like I said in my last video, TX5. This one didn't get a lot of press or praise uh, last year, I don't think. And um, it's a small bow, short brace height. And I think it just kind of, it got lost in the hype on the verdicts and then the traverse. Traverse did a lot better than I think what Matthews even thought it was going to do. But this could be a cool little bow um, in certain situations, I think. I don't know if I'd want to hunt with it all the time. Um, but that being said, this is a 60 pound bow, 27 and a half inch draw. Um, this one does not have the switch weight mods. I think that was another thing last year. Everybody got caught up on the switch weight technology. The ones that didn't have it were kind of like, mm, well, I like the switch weight. It's got a five inch brace height. So it can be a little touchy. Now this one's 60 pounds. Um, and I think you'll see that it's uh, pretty capable at 60 pounds. I'm gonna shoot the same three arrows that I've been shooting, 515 grain. 560 grain, 583.2 grain. And uh, we'll see what they do. So uh, here we go. It's 515 grain. You can already tell that the brace height is very short. My fletching's up into the whisker biscuit. Same engage grip as the, the Verdicts and the Traverse and, and the VXR. And, um, it's a good grip. Um, I ran my Verdicts last year with side plates. That felt better to me. So let's see what this feels like. It's naturally gonna have a easier draw at 60 pounds, but it holds very steady. Two fifty five. That's not bad. That's not bad at all <laughs> for a sixty pound bow. Um, let's go on up. See how efficient this thing is. So this is the five hundred and sixty grain arrow. Two forty-seven. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think that can be probably attributed to the five-inch brace height. Let me go pull these other two because they're right on top of each other. Okay, so here's the five hundred eighty something, five hundred eighty-three green. Two forty-two. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Um, now, obviously, this is not set up, so I don't I don't know how well it does at longer ranges or anything like that. But we're in North Carolina. We're in the Carolinas, so. In the whitetail woods, here you're good if you can get over 30 yards. So this would be a very serious tree stand bow. Um, 
it's obviously not going to get in your way. It's very short. It's 28 inch axle to axle. And um, at those speeds, I mean, you could shoot, I mean, you could go on up even heavier than what I got 600 grain arrow, 650 grain arrow. You're still pushing probably 225, 230, maybe. I don't know. Um, anyhow, if this is something you'd want to look at, we've got two in stock. Um, this one's in the uh, full stone riser, stone limbs. Um, and like I said, this is 60, 27 and a half. We do have the uh, 62 mods that we could possibly change the draw length. So uh, anyhow, check it out. Norris Archery, Shelby, North Carolina. Thanks.